Uh, let's just get started. Alright, so here's caravan stories. I'm, I'm gonna start with the humans. Uh, there's a lot of different customizations you can make. It's kind of cool. Um, sure. You can name them whatever you want. You get to name your characters. Um, yeah, the reason I'm doing this is to share tips that I wish I had known going through it the first time. You look around 360 degrees. All right, there we go. With the right trigger and then with the left trigger, you move. It's a lot like any other game. Oh, and here's a. It's, it's making you auto run. And now, one thing about this game is that it seems like an auto game, uh, especially at first. But it's actually so much under the surface. Uh, right here, it's telling you you can press X to use your skill and then use it wherever you want. Uh, I'll get more into that in a little bit. So, the human avatar's skill is really powerful. It'll stun the characters and. Uh, make the uh, enemies attack you. My guy looks like a vampire. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is essentially a tank. The guy who just joined me is a healer. And it's saying, press X. Use the skill, even though I have full health. Do the animation. Wow, it's a big level jump. So you just press down and then to the right, and you could auto run. Um, doing the story missions, there's a lot of auto running and stuff. Uh, but later in the game, there's so much more strategy. Down and to the right. Let's see. Yeah, the human avatar is really strong. Uh, does a lot of damage. And has a lot of defense, so a lot of people love the character. All three of these characters, the healer and the girl we just met, uh, a lot of people are fans of them. The humans, those starter humans especially, get a lot of benefits, uh, which makes them really strong. 
うんこの辺りの敵はあまり人間を襲わないはずなのですがええ何かがおかしいわ森の動物が騒いでいるし自然発生の魔力も弱いのよいきましょうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそ This is Lina. Her skill is super powerful. And it's got a cool, good cooldown and a wide range. You know, she's a very good character.、Um, in a lot of different game modes, like there's, you'll find that there's other game modes. Almost any situation, she's strong. And since she gets the. She's one of the four characters that gets a buff at the beginning.、Uh, you'll find that she's actually very powerful and can hold you through the game the whole time.、Uh, or you can rely on her. I think I can. So, yeah, right now it's a lot of auto.、Um, the human or dwarf and elf are basically like an intro to the game, in my opinion.、Uh, and it slowly gets harder and harder. Lena. 
So right here, they just introduced the icon. You see, if you press the square button, um, you're gonna want to press the square button so that it's blue, so that the uh, skills happen automatically. Uh, even if you don't, I don't think you can lose this battle. Most of the battles at the beginning, it's going to be just fine to have uh, that skill on. The auto skill on. Later on, you're, gonna, you're not going to want to use it for every battle because uh, you're going to need skills to happen in order. Every character, there's probably a hundred characters, and they all have different abilities. And they work differently together, so it, it's going to be important to try and find good combinations that work together. よし、あと少し。合図したら皆で追い込んでくれ。そのまま崖下に突き落とす。おの<笑> Father has Ralph's shield. <laughs> I'm recognizing some of these weapons. Omae ni tanomitai koto ga aru. ここ、フォルカムラの東に祠があるのは知っているな。最深部に私のキャラバンを隠した。ここに持ってきてくれ。持ってこれたら全てを話そう。<笑> Yay, so I'm gonna be accompanied by friends. So if you press down and then right, you can uh, automatically go to where the next main quest wants you to go. So yeah, you have a mini map. So yeah, now at any time you can just press square and you can open up the mini map and then press circle to cancel. Um, if you press down on the D-pad, you can uh, access your uh, main quest. me to buy a shield from this person um, and I'd especially on your first run throughs I'd uh, suggest buying everything you can later in the game you won't want to buy anything uh, because it would be 16 million gold to get a gold weapon doing it that way uh, which really isn't worth it but I'm gonna equip that right now because I just bought a shield. And, oh, this little icon in the upper right with the with the bag means you just finished a quest. Um, oh, that must have been for the last quest. Excuse me, down, down. And if it has a red circle like that, it means you can clear a quest right now and get a reward for it. 
So you almost always want to do that unless uh, unless it's for gems because you can save up gems for later. So da. So da na. I'll, I'll explain that a little later. So da na. Basically, there's a few different currencies, uh, gold, gems, and um, phantasm gems. Excuse me, gold crystal oh. and phantasm gems. And by saving those gems, you can get over your gem cap. Uh, the gems in regard uh, let me re-explain that the quest once you finish it you can clear it and gain the gems and that will let you go over the, the cap Order. So this battle you're guaranteed to catch the uh, the ratty. It's a very weak monster, but uh, you're, they're gonna want you. Every storyline is gonna have you catch a creature. So I believe since there's nobody in our formation, team formation here, uh, it automatically added, yes, it automatically added Ratty, so you don't even need to go to the screen yet. So we're going to continue, oh, what is this? Oh, because we ca captured a beast, awesome. Shrine, which is where the first caravan is. Uh, and if you're just beginning the story, um, or if you're restarting the story from a, a, a different line, like if you started with Orc or Dork or Elf, uh, you won't be able to teleport anywhere until after you get the caravan. There's movement in the caves. So this will be the first battle in here. Um, I might have even lost it the first time because I didn't know how it worked. So as long as that icon in the upper right of the sword is on, you're going to automatically use your skills, and you're going to be healed. You don't even have to use the skills yourself in this battle. It's, it's not a difficult battle. The healer bolt right down at the bottom there uh, will automatically heal whoever is lowest on life, so you don't have to manage him too much. Sophia is like my favorite. She's awesome. Her skills and stuff. Oh. Wow. 
So this is telling you you can change targets. So if you want to fight different targets, that's fine. Um, but again, he's got a ton of life, so I wouldn't target him. And as long as you have your auto skills on, you're going to have an easy time with this battle. It's like breaking the fourth wall. Alright, so here's where we finally get to have crystals. Uh, which is our second. It's the purple one on the left in the upper uh, part of the screen. You can put it anywhere it doesn't really matter because you can replace it any time. And a world map. This is what lets you teleport. So, um, whenever you restart a game, you're going to have to go into your inventory and, re and place it down again. So, if you can't teleport, even though you get your caravan, that is why. ふむふむ。久しぶりでしたが、大丈夫そうでございますね。さあ皆さん、急いで乗り込んでくださいませ。フォルカ村までひとっ飛びでございます。So yeah, I'd, I'd encourage at least reading through one of the storylines. Um, they do share a lot of similarities, so... You know, there are differences, but... Some people might find it repetitive, but there's a lot of... It's almost like the 
there's a whole bunch of short stories all wound into one story. さしいなポルカ。相変わらず想像しい奴だ。ポルカ。これから先は助けてやってくれないか。ポルカの助けを得て王とバルメルへと向かうのだ。すでに引退してしまったが。私は昔バルメルに仕えた軍人だった。この黒い化け物の事件を報告し、援軍を要請するのだ。まずは国王に謁見を請い、難しければ軍師の職にあるラルフという若者を頼れ。私の名前を出せば、おそらく会っては来れ
So now that we have the caravan, we can activate these uh, teleport stations, essentially. And we can warp, as it's telling us right now. Oh, we have a bunch of stuff to clear, so let's do that. You press on the down button to get there. Sorry if I'm going too fast for those. Um, install a gold pump. Okay, so that'll bring me to my menu. I'm gonna go to facility. Uh, oh, new installation. That's how you install a gold pump. And oh, you need a caravan level two. Good to know. So the way you level up your caravan is you're gonna upgrade things in your caravan. You can see level one human house. Um, I think if I finish this, I got an item, so I'm gonna use it. Uh, I think it will give me a level. Yep, and so now I can put the gold pump. Since it's now level two. <laughs> Crystal pumps are super important. I'm gonna upgrade it yet again. All right. And then I pressed circle to get out of that menu really quick. Oh, cog. So as a new beginner, uh, you're going to get new daily login items. Um, on the third day, you get Sophia, one of my favorite characters. Oh, there's a ladybug ahead. Sounds dangerous. <laughs> Concept of flying enemies to you. Basically, the guy with the sword is not going to be able to do much damage. It's all going to be Lena, Lena. Yeah, as your caravan levels up, you get to get more and more uh, cannons on it. Um, you can place it down and then it's a little difficult to rotate, but you can rotate it in whatever direction you want. Oh my goodness. There we go. Uh, the number of cannons you can put on actually it's more than 10. I don't know what it is exactly, but there gets to be quite a few. Oh yeah, and then random people give you items on the way. <laughs> the people are very generous here. <laughs> So anytime there's characters with gold and it's telling you to go uh, and interact with them, it's basically a quest. 
Um, they're not normal monsters. People aren't going to be able to join in the battle with you. Uh, it is multiplayer, but but a lot of the, especially going through the quests the first time, there's not a whole lot of multiplayer um, interactions. It's, and they don't even let you do the events until after you finish uh, Human Health Born and uh, Human Health and or Races. Oh wait, no, it's just until you get to... You have to finish one of the races, excuse me. One more fluffy. So yeah, for these side quests, I don't really read them much. Uh, there's an icon there, so uh, I try and see. Oh, it's telling me to go back. Uh, I don't really want to do that. I just want to continue the main quest right now. So I, this one right here, with uh, with the human icon and the reward listed by it, is the main quest. So yeah, especially the beginning, there's a lot of auto-running you can do, uh, but as it gets harder and uh, gets requiring more strategy, that's, that's where I really enjoy it. Um, one thing, uh, I'll get past the scene and then I'll explain. So yeah, those item power-ups are all half an hour. Um, basically, what I just uh, used will let me capture these little ghosts. See how there's a little gold cage right by their name? Um, anything with a gold cage by their name will let you capture them. Uh, and since I have a triple... Oh, wait, I can capture that one too? Ooh. I'm gonna go for the little one just because the big ones are just overly powerful. Um, there's not a huge benefit to defeating them. Like, I remember the first time playing it, I, I wanted to defeat every single one. I thought there was gonna be a um, or something, but 
but there's not a whole lot to gain from doing that, so they tend to be two-star monsters, so if you're trying to capture them, that's that's really nice, but the experience isn't a whole lot more, and the, um, the gold isn't a whole lot more, so, so if you're not looking for the monster, it's not a whole lot more helpful. So yeah, I'll let him the team. It. else I can upgrade in my caravan. Uh, 20 minutes. Not even close. Alright, we'll have to check back on that one. So, back to the main quest. That's an unfortunate name. So this battle basically means you could bring up to six people. Um, there is, if you got uh, characters and other storylines, you could put them here. Right now, I've just got these people, so hopefully I can win this, uh, since I haven't done any leveling yet. Yeah, let's go back to the village. Hand that in and see if we can get a new weapon.
Alright, yeah, these monsters at the beginning give almost no uh, gold, so basically your gold is going to come from doing quests. Oh, nice. His bag. That'll make him do more heal. A uh, more powerful healer, and that'll make him a better, or her, a better damage. Uh, you're not going to get these people for quite a while, so those ones aren't important right now. And while we're at it, let's see if we can install a new item. Uh, gold pump. Why didn't I think of that? I should have put that in earlier. So this is another good way to get money. Um, right now, you can see it gives me a thousand gold per hour. Which is decent. Uh, I can't upgrade it right now, but uh, but it'll help out a lot. I should have I should have put that in a little bit while ago. This is what lets you buy items from the store. Although I don't know why you would need that. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. The first playthrough you do, um, it, they let you have a free one. It gets you all their weapons and a bunch of anima, which will help you level them up. So the, the most difficult playthroughs are usually the first and the second playthroughs. The first one because you're learning everything, the second playthrough because uh, you don't get that bonus. So the second playthrough I mean as in the, uh, like if you change races. Uh, the first time I played this I did uh, Dwarf first, and that was, that was nice and easy, but then it got really difficult because I didn't know how to create new weapons and stuff like that. So that'll make me way stronger. Let's clear these. Okay, so back to the main quest. Gold highlighted one is the main quest. Yeah, watch this the difference in this power. Try this battle that whooped our butt earlier. So if you don't have that chest that you can open, um, well, number one, you, you probably wouldn't have had that difficulty because uh, you can use characters from the previous uh, races that you've done, so it shouldn't be a big deal. Uh, sometimes your move tracking is a little awkward, right? Like you just there. Right, round two. 
top. And I'm gonna target him on the human. Just like that. There we go. So now we should have no problem. As long as the human stays alive, uh, the monsters won't advance to these uh, squishier characters, the healer and the mage. Yeah, and another thing you'll find is you, you're probably going to have tons of gold, uh, which you're going to think, oh, it's not a rare resource, but later on it does get quite rare. So this right here is a story uh, mission. You'll find random characters as you go through the stories. It's not related to the main quest, but you'll eventually be able to get her on your team. でも私自身は占いが大好きで、修行の旅をしているんですよ。何何うん。こ。うん。驚愕の違うわ。うん。運命で。ああ。うん。so we need to find her cards oh, another probably gonna give me an item residents are so nice oh gotta get the teleport station or actually items as we go into the main quest. Let's see, this looks like the second of three cards. And let's clear this one while we're running over a post.
So one cool thing is if you use the human avatar to spin like that, they'll stun them, and then they'll be basically angry at you. So if you want to grab an enemy's attention, you can just do that spin attack, and you'll have their attention for about 10 more seconds after it ends. Uh, and since human avatar has a ton of defense, uh, it's going to help out in a lot of battles. Alright, since he's getting a little low, I'm gonna do that. Oh, so they saw him too. Looks like Elodie's pretty uh, strong in this battle. So in battles where they do reinforcements, it's usually about every 20% they drop that they will have the option of summoning another set of reinforcements, and you never have to just kill the reinforcements. You just have to uh, defeat the original monsters and... Uh, yeah, the original monsters. Advanced almost. Advanced right, almost right away. Uh, you know what? I'm going to change my settings really quick. Um, oh man. So there's. The settings are kind of obscure. Uh, other menu. Game settings. You have to go through like three different settings. Um, usually I turn this way down. And then another thing I like to do is uh, go to game settings and camera following speed so that I can look around a little quicker. I will raise it to two. Otherwise, looking left and right, it's a little slow. Cursor speed, you won't really use that right now, but later it'll be important to move a little quicker, I think. Uh, and then autoplay range, there's... I, I, I've never wanted to use wide range, I put it to narrow range, that means whenever you're auto farming, which it does exist in this game, um, but I'll do it like an hour a day. Uh, and I'm not like at the PS4, so uh, some people do it more, some people do it less. Uh, but yeah, you'll be able to get all your characters up to the top level even just with an hour a day.
Oh, here's here's what it's asking me to do. Let's attack these spiders. I should almost just take out those the ghost and the ratty just because they take all the healing away from my the people who need it. Ah yes, the anti-paddler. So especially later on, you're going to want to look for this character a lot. The anima is a great thing to grab. Um, maybe in the beginning, experience orbs might be good, but later you don't really need them. Uh, yeah, that's that's really all that's... And maybe the experience, but it's not... No, no, not the experience. It, anima and maybe the experience orb. That that's all. Later, you don't even want the experience. She must be Canadian. Defeat the stone. All right, so next, Earth Stone. Once the characters get up to level 30, I'll have to think about uh, evolving them to two stars. Uh, we're already a little over halfway, but it slows down a lot, especially after you get to the, that second star.
Oh yeah? Marbass, huh? Yeah, yeah, konnichiwa. Kimi tachi mo Rasberg Kozan ni ikudo kai? Otto, utsukushii ojou san mo issho da ne. Boku no namae wa Marbass. Yokereba, ojou san? Kimino <laughs> <laughs> so he wants iron ore, alright. Sure. Arigato. Is this the main quest? Um uh, yes it is. So capes are one of the areas enemies can attack you. Um, if you hear that sound, that means they have targeted you and they're after you. Whoa. And they get little red exclamation marks over their head. Uh, if you ever try and pass by them the opposite direction, since they're already kind of aware, they're going to have a better chance of getting you. That's a rare crystal, so I'm going to pick that one up. Yep, see, I could get back. And I 
don't think those ones are aware, so I'll have a fine time getting past them. I just realized my I uh, facility finished upgrading, so I'll have to upgrade it again. And yeah, my crystal crystal storage is almost full, but really crystals are where it's at. So I'm gonna upgrade it again. So if you ever see this, the story mode, uh, every character has a story with them. If you see their icon in the story, that tells you at what point you would get the character. So if I do one more quest for him, I will get that character. Uh, he's a two-star character, which means he starts out stronger. Uh, and since I have no two-star characters, I think it was probably worth it to do it right now. Especially since it's uh, actually part of the main quest. So they're making you do it anyways. So that's that's good. actually really good to have in this battle because golems will tend to put a shield over themselves and she can dispel it. <laughs> Why wow, he's not even moving. Oh. There's the shield. Alright, so I'm gonna go over to Elodi and I'm gonna target him. And then I'm gonna clear the mobs with the other characters. I'm target the bomb again. Oh, I didn't clear it. 
also, L Lena is really strong against Earth, so the shield almost doesn't even matter. I mean, obviously it still protects a bit, but uh, elements do help uh, quite a bit. うん。ありがとう。よし。僕は。うん。これは。よろしく。僕の名前はマルバス。And Anyway, I think that's good for now. Um, I'll see about continuing this a little bit later. Thanks for watching.